Hello my fellow Ians, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hi, I'm Jojo Verity. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about all the books that I've read this year so far. So, let's get started. I know, I'm not a booktuber, but I do love reading books, and actually, I've always been reading books a lot, but just this year, I started to read a lot, like, a lot about a lot of books online because of COVID. I was like, at home for a long time and then I had nothing else to do than to just read books. It started actually with Shadow and Bone, the trilogy, because I've been following Ben Barnes for some time and then he posted about a new show called Shadow and Bone. And I really wanted to read the books before I'm gonna watch the show. This is how it kind of started. Like, it's been a long time since I read like trilogies. I always read like standalone books. Every year I actually buy books also. But this year I've really been reading a lot of trilogies, like so many parts. And I like really into fantasy books like nowadays and also like horror books, like involving zombies, something like that. And yeah, so suddenly I've been reading a lot of books again. I kind of miss it. I thought I wasn't really into it anymore. Like before when I was young, I always read a lot of books like Twilight or Diversion or the Hunger Games, something like that. But now I really read a lot of books and I really want to talk about it and kind of rate them. Like, yeah, and also I did a video also before about books, like books that were turned into a movie. So yeah, you do know that I do love reading books. First three books that I'm going to be talking about is Shadow and Bone. So those are the first books that I've read this year. Like, I really read it so fast because I think the show came out like in April or May. I'm not sure again what day it was, but I bought all the books like in February, so I kind of had like one month to finish it all. And so I actually liked the show better than the books even, but the books like trilogy was okay. Like I do like the characters. I didn't really like Mel in the books, but I do like Alina, Nikolai, some of my favorite characters. And so anyways, about this girl called Alina Starkov, and she kind of finds out she has this extraordinary powers. And so she's gonna save the world, kinda. And there's like a fold, and she's gonna wanna take down the fold, because inside there are like some creatures called Volcra. So, anyway, if you know the show, you don't actually have to read the books, but because I think the show is really good, also. If you're a book lover, you can read the books first if you want to, but you don't need to. And then after six of. <laughs> After Shadow of Bone, I read the Six of Crows duology and I actually do like it better than Shadow of Bone. I heard people talking about that they like also the Six of Crows better than the first three books because mainly I think because of the characters are so likable. And so Six of Crows is like set in Caledon and it's about six different people. They're kind of like criminals, like in the low kind of town to live and one of them is called Cass Brecker and also of course Jasper Fahey and then Ines Geffa, also Violin and Nina Zenik and Matthias Helfer. So yeah, a lot of these characters is also like a book about friendship actually. That's why we like it and the characters are so well written and we like the world like Lieber Dogo dived into. By the way, I forgot to tell the author's name. Liba Dugu became one of my favorite authors and yes, yeah, so I'm really happy with the show also and I can't wait to see more of the Six of Crows characters. And then I bought a lot of books like on Amazon, like because uh, I always read like everything in English and here in Germany you can't find a lot of English books sometimes. So I really wanted to kind of read zombie books. The book is called This is Not a Test by Courtney Summers and it's a book about zombies but not really so much zombies involved. It's more about so realistic characters like going through something like that and so I liked it. I do like all the characters. It was well written and it's a good story also about this main character called Siobhan and she's like a suicidal abused teen and so and now she already had a tough time growing up because she had an abusive father and then suddenly this apocalypse kind of happened and so she's also suicidal all the time she wanna die and then it's like all set in a school and then she met like some other survivors they're all teenagers and they're also really good characters i think so i really enjoyed this book it's not really brutal it's not so much with zombies as i said 
but I do like the characters and the storyline was so good and well written. So I really enjoyed this book by the way. There's also a part two I think. And yeah, I'm really excited to mo read more of the author because she, I heard she does, she have a lot of books, so. Another zombie book I want to talk about is The Reapers Are the Angels and it's by Alden Bell. And so I didn't really like the story so much. Like, I, I didn't like how it was written. It was kind of hard to understand. But it's also about a zombie apocalypse. It's like a wasteland. And there's about a young girl called Temple. And she's just trying to survive in this wasteland. And there's like a killer who's trying to kill her all this time. But at the same time, she kind of has to look out for this killer who's after her. And also the zombies. And also she's kind of taking care of someone. He's like a special kind of man. He doesn't know how to take care of himself. So yeah, she's like a young girl in this wasteland. So, so it's like a survival kind of book. But to be honest, I didn't really like the story. I didn't really enjoy it that much, even though it's about zombies. It was that like, I don't know it's like all about survival also as well actually so I really enjoy like reading zombie since I'm a zombie fan zombie books it's kind of kind of fun to read and also to watch and yeah so let's talk about the King of Scars duology it's also like from the author Lee Badugo and it's like the like, sixth book if you think about it but it's like about different characters like the main characters are like Nikolai. And Lansov, like he's my favorite character. And also Zoya Nazalensky and then Nina Zanik. And it's like in the same world and everything. But it's like, I think it's like after Shadow and Bone actually. And so yeah, I didn't enjoy the first book that much. Just later on, like some of the parts were like, was like too long written sometimes. And I didn't understand sometimes the storyline. But I do like it because of Nikolai. Because it's like the first time he's like the main character. And then there's also a part two. Like it's also a duology. And it's called Rule of Wolves. And actually I like it better. I think. I like the part two better. And there was not also a weird ending. Which was weird. I didn't expect it that. So many twists and turns. Also the first part. The ending was so... By the way, I'm not gonna spoil anything. Don't worry, guys. So yeah, but I really enjoyed it. I think it's really different than Shadow and Bone. Also, like, sort of Crows. It's like about... As I said, about these three characters this time. And sometimes the other characters also. But... Yeah, I do like it. Don't get me wrong. I think I maybe I even do like it better than Shadow and Bone. Because I was really a fan of Shadow and Bone, like the first three books, that much. And especially because of Nikolai in this book so much. That's why I like it so much. Yeah, so I really recommend you to read like all the books. Like Shadow and Bone is the first one you have to read. Then Six of Crows, Theology. And then King of Scars, Theology is like the last part. Of like the world also, like the Grisha verse. And I really like it also, the world that she kind of made for us. Next book I'm going to talk about is called Crescent City, The House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Maas. And there's a lot of hate about this author. People don't like her book sometimes. It's actually the first book that I've read. I just borrowed it from a friend actually. And people always like have so many mixed views about this author. Because the way she writes her books, it's like her books are like adult but like young adult, it's more like about for adults. And anyway, but I do enjoy this book. I actually liked it. Sometimes it was like too long. It has like 800 pages or something. It's like very too long and she could have cut out some other things. She doesn't have to include everything. But I do like the characters. And also this book is like about friendship. And I want to tell you like if you cry in a book, then you know it's good. And I did cry in this book. It had made me cry because... Some part were like so sad because about friendship as I said. So also we really like fantasy books. So of course the fantasy book. It's like there's so many different kind of magic creatures in this world. And also the main character Bryce Quinlan. She's, like, she's half human and half she. I think that's how I pronounce it. But also it's kind of like fairy. She's like half human half fairy I think. And so she kind of seeks revenge because like her best friend got killed. It's not a spoiler because if you buy this book. It says that like it's gonna happen and anyway she was like brutally murdered and she wants to find out who did this and yeah I do like the characters I like the storyline also and I think I want to read more books of her I heard like there's gonna be a movie or series about one of her books I forgot the title but yeah I think I do want to read more books of that author another book that I bought from my friend Jackie by the way if you watch my videos you know her she's also been in summer videos like especially where I try food and stuff so by the way thanks for borrowing 
for letting me borrow the books. And the book is called Rivers of London and it's by this author Ben Aronovich and it's also kind of like Harry Potter because like it's British, <laughs> it kind of much Harry Potter a little bit. And anyway, this main character, his name is Peter Grant and he's a young police officer and he can see ghosts. So it's of course kind of magical also. Magical aspects in this book kind of got recruited by a small branch of the Met, that's what it's called, who deals with magic and supernatural creatures. So actually kind of like X-Files. <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> Just kidding. Because recently I've been watching X-Files also about, the X-Files also about like supernatural kind of things happening and they have to figure this out. So like that, so he kind of joins up with some guy also. <laughs> I forgot the name, like also some police officer, other detective or something. Huh? I always imagine him like be played by Simon Peck if this gonna be trying to move. <laughs> Cause it kind of fits to him even though, yeah, kind of fits to him, I think. So anyway, I do like the book, but it was for me a bit hard to understand because they talk about so much about how police work actually works. And it's also like British, sometimes it's like hard to understand like the writing. Then there's so many books, like I saw like six or more. Let's see, maybe I'm gonna continue some of the books. Since I bought it, I don't have any of the books. But yeah, if you like Harry Potter and magical kind of things, but also with crime kind of, like police crime, then this book is for you. I'm gonna be talking about the next trilogy that I've read and it's like the testing trilogy. And the first time I read the summary, I thought it sounded really cool and fun. It kind of reminded me of like Hunger Games or like Divergent. But then I read and finished all the books that's not that good. Actually, only the part one was good because the part one was kind of interesting for me, but kind of knock off of Hunger Games, kind of like she tried so hard. Also, it's called, by the way, Joelle Chabonnet. She's like French name, sorry if I butchered the name. Anyway, the author tried so hard to be like Suzanne Collins. I don't know, like also the characters, they were like not so fun to read. So Sia Wayne is the main girl and the main guy is called Thomas and he kind of is a bit like Peter. But Peter is of course much better because Peter is one of my favorite characters. Come on, so I don't know, they kind of do it like that. But more brutal than Peter, I think. But I don't know, it's like, I don't know, the characters I didn't quite enjoy so much. And so the first book was kind of interesting. It's also about, so these kids, they have to do some tests and then the United Commonwealth, like a government, and they do like things kind of in a mean way and like cruel way. For the kids. So it's kind of like Hunger Games as I said. So they also have to survive and like kill some people to kill some kids or something. Kind of survive the test they've been given. So I only liked the first part because it was kind of different but then the other part, especially part two or three, I didn't quite enjoy it anymore. So I finished all the books. I know if I'm ever gonna read it again. As I said, I didn't really like the trilogy as much because it's too much like Hunger Games. Because I want to read something like that who's like close to Hunger Games but this was like too much like it so yeah, as I said. By the way, I forgot to rate the books. <laughs> but yeah, mostly all the books that I read I actually like. So most of them are like, I think like, kind of rating like 4 out of 5. But this book's maybe, I don't know, like a 2 out of 5 or something. The next book's also a zombie book and it's called The Girl with All the Gifts. I know there's a movie out, I never watched the movie yet. But I've read the book and also didn't quite like it. I don't know. I don't know how the movie's gonna be like. Anyway, it's about this girl called Melanie and she's one of the hungries, like one of the zombies, like some of the kids that returned, they kind of have a normal mind. They can still talk and something like that and they don't really eat human flesh. They can kind of control it and they're like, yeah, so also there's like a scientist who's kind of helping this girl. So it's like a dystopian world about these flesh hanging zombies and yeah, I know. I didn't really quite enjoy the book so much. Maybe I also heard the movie isn't that good also. So I don't know. But if you like zombies, maybe you might enjoy this. There's some parts I did also enjoy, especially when they were out and like they have to fight these zombies or something. They're kind of called hungries in this book. But yeah, I think there's like other parts, like different stories, like with, different, with a different kid or something. But anyway, this girl, Melanie, she has like extraordinary powers. And she kind of had these humans that she's with. And because she doesn't have like, she doesn't want, she doesn't crave for human flesh and something. She's kind of special. So another trilogy that I really quite enjoyed is called The Fifth Wave. And I did watch the movie first. 
I never read the books, but now I've finished all the books. I did like the movie and now it wasn't really good, I think, but for other people. But to me, I quite enjoyed it. But I like the movie. I like the books even better. Like, it's really good books because I'm an alien fan. It's about an alien invasion. Anyway, it's about this girl called Cassie Sullivan. And she survived an alien invasion like with some other people, I don't want to spoil anything, but I really enjoyed this because I'm an alien fan and there's so few books about aliens, by the way, so that's why I really want to read this and I really enjoyed the trilogy all in all. Too bad you don't get to see another movie about this because I like, I like it actually. And yeah, so everything is like devastated by the alien plague or something. They go inside your mind, so it kind of reminds me of the host. Also one of my favorite books because this host, they can't survive without a human body. It's kind of like that. They go inside you and then kind of makes you do things or something. So I really kind of like this kind of stories. And yeah, it's one of my favorite trilogies so far and I give it a 5 out of 5. I forgot again to rank the, the girl with all the gifts, but I think I was like 2 out of 5. So... Another book and this book is called Alice and is by the author Christina Henry. Of course you know it's like a Disney movie but it's like different kind of twist and it's kind of brutal. It's like a horror Alice kind of version and my friend Jackie again she bought it for me on my birthday and she kind of likes this kind of Disney like kind of gone twisted or like scary way and I did enjoy this book and so She's Alice like locked away in an asylum and people think she's crazy. Kind of remind me of Once Upon a Time in Wonderland. Because it also started like that, like Alice is in an asylum and she's crazy. Anyway, the rabbit kind of attacked her, that's why she had a scar on her face and she almost died with it. And they didn't believe it that the talking rabbit did this to her. And they think she's crazy, that's why she's in an asylum. And she's been there a long time, then she meets a guy who's also in the asylum. He's called Hatcher and they kind of only talk. Because that's like a mouse hole, so you kind of only hear his, his voice. So then they kind of escape together and they've been going like... It's like Alice retelling kind of, like all the characters you know from Alice, like... The Jabberwocky or something like Alice, like Cheshire Cat or whatever. They're all like villains in this book and also like the rabbit is the villain in this book. So yeah, it's really kind of dark and twisted. And you know me, I like this kind of thing. Another fantasy book I want to talk about is called Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. And I really like this book. It's by the way a standalone book. And it doesn't always have to be many parts. So yeah, I really liked it so much. Like even quite this book. It was kind of sad. But I don't want to spoil anything. So anyway, it's about a world in Ostermere. It's called The Place. And where like books are alive. And then like you can use the books for good or for evil and if you use it for evil they kind of turn to a horrific monster and something like that. It reminded me of Wings Saga like you know the Netflix show or kind of like Inkheart because it's about books also kind of a bit like Harry Potter because like magical and also my mom she read this before me she also said kind of remind her of that and it was such a good book and so she have to like she was like they thought she did a crime and so a saucer called Nathaniel Thorn kind of helped her with that and his demon friend. Yeah, you heard it right, there's also demons involved. And yeah, so I really I like the characters, they're enjoyable. Also the main character name is Elizabeth and she's a cute and nice story, I think. Like if you're a fan of fantasy books and standalone books, I think you really enjoy this one. This is the last book, by the way. I know I've read a lot, so it's called Ninth House. Also by Lee Badogo. And I think it's gonna be a movie, not a series, I think, on Prime someday. I'm so excited, that's why we wanna read it. And I said I really like her writing style, and this book is really different for Shadow Bone. And I also like the main character's name, it's Galaxy Stern. Galaxy. Cool name, but her nickname is like Alex, so people call her Alex. And anyway, she's like raised in Los Angeles with a hippie mom. And then she kind of dropped out of school early in her age because she'd been through kind of shit in her life. And then she met like some people like kind of like bad influence for her. Like a she had a drug dealer boyfriend and then some other friends she met. And so she kind of threw her life away at some point. But then she kind of got a second chance because after she survived like this kind of, she survived kind of accident, someone found her and they wanted to enroll her in this school. 
and it's like in the ninth house something like that so she kind of gave a second chance for her and she's like 25 years old or something and yeah so i really really enjoyed this book it was like how to spend explain it's like there's also like a murder going on and there's so many different kind of houses every, every house kind of these are different kind of magic a house is like necromancy and like this and that like everything's like about magic and not even everyone knows about it i think and so but these places like kind of like colleges everything is deals with magic and she, at first didn't she also one thing is cool that she can see ghosts when she was a young child and not everyone can do that there's also kind of creepy part in this one because you can see ghosts also and she cannot she can also like talk to them and interfere with them so yeah so i think it was a really good story and i really enjoyed this and i also forgot to give it a rank again but i think i gave it a five out of five so your thorns also because i also enjoyed it and yeah i think this was it as you noticed my theme here i kind of like fantasy horror slash zombie kind of books because they're really enjoyable and also i think the ninth house is going to be a part two also that's what i've heard because the ending was such a cliffhanger so it wasn't really an end ending but i do also enjoy the characters and this main character is like so badass and really different thing about it different from alina <laughs> <laughs> so yeah anyway this was it so by the way hope you enjoyed this by the way comment down below if you do like reading books and if you do then i gave you some good recommendations by the way if you're into fantasy horror or zombie kind of books or whatever if you're into that you can check it out and yeah so hope don't forget hope you like it don't forget to give it a thumbs up also don't forget to put on the post notifications so you know exactly when i upload and don't forget to subscribe hope to see you guys on my next video bye